Hey guys, it's me, Shlee, and welcome to what is about to be one of the most exciting videos ever to go up on my channel. So I have here with me today a very special guest, which is this quite heavy box of goodies. This box was actually a Christmas gift from my sister, so Amber, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. I won't even say too much about it, I'll just get right into the video so you guys can see what it is and why I'm so excited. Do you have any guesses? Maybe from the title of the video? All right, so the first thing we have in here is, well, I guess I will say what's in this box is four MREs plus some extra goodies. The first of those goodies is mini number six beef taco filling. And this is one I've actually not heard of. I don't think I've seen anybody who's actually tried this one. And before I say too much more about this, I should back up. I am so happy about these MREs because I've been wanting to do more MRE videos on my channel. Y'all seem to like those and I like filming them. So now I have at least four more that are coming and hopefully by the time I'm through with these, I'll have some more MREs in my hands. Like I was saying, this is the mini number six beef taco filling. I have not seen anybody do this one to my knowledge. I'll have to look around on YouTube and see if maybe Germs has one of these on his channel. Germs MRE, I'll link him down below. Or Kiwi Dude or some of the other old school type of MRE review people but this one is completely new to me I don't know anything about it aside from the main I haven't opened it I'm not gonna open it just yet this video is only gonna be the haul of what I actually got and then I will be doing separate taste tests for all of these so you can look forward to that I'm just checking there's no date code or anything on the outside of this package but that's the first MRE that I got in this bundle then oh one thing I did think was interesting there's actually three different designs on the brown bags that I got so that was the first one here's the second one the second design and this is menu number 24 southwest beef and black beans which sounds delicious I'm looking forward to trying this one for sure but again different design on the brown bags I'm not sure why that is I'm sure one of you guys will be able to tell me what that's about I assume maybe just updated packaging or does it have some other meaning I'm not sure but I'm sure somebody can tell me in the comments and I would appreciate it. This one I know I've watched people review before and I've heard good things about it. It sounds like a meal I would like myself, like I would like to cook and enjoy. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problem scarfing this one down once I actually get it heated up and taste tested. By the way, my sister did, uh, she picked out three of these and the last one was a random one. I think, yes, this is the random one that I got. It's actually one I have been wanting for a long time. So the random one that was sent, is mini number two beef shredded and barbecue sauce. I have vivid memories of watching Kiwi Dude try this one and he said it was delicious. I remember watching that video more than once because the food just looks so good and now I get to try it for myself. This might be the first one I taste test because I'm just really looking forward to getting this one open and seeing what, what it's all about really. You'll see all four that I have. If you guys have a preference, one you'd like me to try before the others, do let me know because of course I take y'all's words to heart. So that's mini number two, beef shredded in barbecue sauce. This one feels significantly heavier than the beef taco one. This one feels heavier. These two, Southwest beef and black beans and then beef shredded, they feel about the same weight. It's funny, all three of those are beef so far. But the last one I have, number four. Oh, and again, this one has a different packaging. So what's that about? Was that just a revamp or does that mean something? Does it have to do with the time it was made maybe? Again, I am the least informed MRE reviewer you can probably find on YouTube, but I'm also one of the most entertaining. So it's kind of a trade off there. Last but certainly not least, I've got Menu 17 Pork Sausage Patty Maple Flavored. This one, I'm not gonna say I'm not excited about this one because I am. I'm excited about all of these. I'm very thankful for them. This one though is the one that I think I'm gonna like the least, if that makes sense. I think it's still gonna be good, but I'm not a fan of maple flavored sausage, whether that's pork sausage or chicken sausage or anything like that. I like my maple syrup on my pancakes, but I like it to stay there. That being said, I'm very curious to see how they put the maple flavoring in this type of sausage and how it tastes and what else is in this menu because I mean, pork sausage, I'm guessing it's gonna be sort of a breakfast menu, which is thrilling for me because I've never had a breakfast type MRE before. I recently watched Germs MRE eat a meal cold weather MCW that was breakfast and that one looked so good, especially the oatmeal, but you know I love oatmeal. So, so this one, I'm looking forward to tasting it to see what it's about, but I do expect myself to like this one the least. 
I think I'm gonna like the beef in the barbecue sauce the most just because I've heard such good things about it, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of the others actually ends up being my favorite. These are all gonna be taste tested hopefully very soon. I'm gonna try and get these up as soon as I can because I'm excited, but I know y'all also like these videos and I'm here to please you. That was not the end of this exciting box, if you can believe it or not. I could hardly believe it when I was opening the package myself. So I got my four MREs. What I also got was, well, two little freebies came in the box. So this sticker from uh, MRE Mountain, which is where this was ordered from. I'm gonna keep this, I think it's cute. And then I also got this, I believe it's pronounced Chaka Cola. So this is caffeinated chocolate. I have never heard of this, again, if you actually watch MREs and or know anything about them, I'm sure the second you saw this tin, you knew what this was. Apparently this is the original tin, they've never changed the design, which I like it and if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So again, this is caffeinated chocolate and it's from Germany. That's the extent of my knowledge about this. I read it on the back of the tin. I will be trying some of this. I like chocolate. I am curious as to how I'm going to react to this though because I don't partake of any caffeine in my normal life. I don't drink soda. I don't drink coffee or anything like that. So I wonder if this is gonna be, um, if I'm gonna notice the difference between this and regular chocolate. And again, I like the tin. I'll probably keep this and put specimens in it when I'm done eating the chocolate. So that was a super nice freebie, I thought, to go along with all the other exciting stuff in this bundle. And last but not least, we have the most exciting part of this bundle. This was such a nice gift. My sister knew I wanted one and she got me the perfect one. And what she got me was a metal tray. And if this is your first MRE video, first of all, this is not how it's done. I will, again, link those better channels down below. But if you're not familiar, all the real MRE people, like Germs MRE, Steve1989, Dave's 45 Auto, Kiwi Dude, John's MRE, they all have a tray, a specific tray that they eat off of, and it looks so legit and just that's the real MRE feel. And I've been wanting a tray because I've just been eating off of plates and bowls because that's what I have. And my sister got me this super nice metal tray and I love it. This one actually looks very similar to the one that Germs has. The brand uh, is Winco brand. Germs is yours Winco brand. So I am thrilled to have this. I think it's going to make filming these videos even more fun and they're going to look more professional. I'm still going to be doing the filming though so no improvement there. But this was such a nice thoughtful gift. I didn't even ask for this because I was going to get it for myself later on down the road, but my sister loves me and she loves y'all and she wants you to have better content, so you can thank her for this, okay? Everybody send hugs and kisses. That is everything for my Christmas MRE haul. Honestly, better than I could have ever imagined or asked for. I am so happy with all this stuff and I'm thrilled that I'm going to have new content for y'all, especially in this realm of YouTube because I love MREs and I'm really excited to try this food. Again, if you have a request for one you want to see me eat first, let me know down below. And if you know anything about this chocolate, please inform me of it so that I'm not totally blind. I could look it up myself, but honestly, y'all are so well informed, I'd rather hear it from you in the first place. For now, I'm going to pack this stuff back up and then I will get into the tasting later. Like I said, I'm going to try and have those videos up really soon. Hopefully, you don't have to wait too long. And as always, I hope you enjoy those videos and thank you for watching this one. Bye, guys. Oh, and I, I got too excited. I forgot. I hope you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas, and I wish you all a very Happy New Year. I myself am planning to have the happiest 2024 of all 2024s, but you're welcome to join me in my 2024 journey. All right, guys, I think I'm done for real now, so thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!